In today's video, we will be discussing about the reverse cholesterol transport and the HDL metabolism. To understand or study the metabolism of any compound in our body or any biomolecule in our body, we have to understand the source of that compound, how and where it is transported, and finally, where it is degraded and how it is excreted from the body. So coming to HDL metabolism. Where it is synthesized? HDL is synthesized in the liver as nascent HDL molecule or discoidal HDL particle. which contains phospholipids, cholesterol and three apoproteins. Apoprotein A2, sorry, apoprotein A, apoprotein C2 and apoprotein E as seen in the diagram. See, this is the nascent HDL molecule. It contains apoprotein C2, apoprotein A and apoprotein E with phospholipids and cholesterol. The main role of HDL is to transport cholesterol from extrahepatic tissues back to the liver, thus assisting in reverse cholesterol transport. Now why I am saying reverse cholesterol transport? Because the actual transport of HD cholesterol is from the liver to the extrahepatic tissues. But HDL is assisting in the reverse cholesterol transport. That is, the cholesterol from the extrahepatic tissues will go back to the liver. Now, for understanding this, we have to understand LCAT enzyme. LCAT or lecithin cholesterol acyl transferase is a plasma enzyme. whose role is to catalyze the free cholesterol present in extrahepatic tissues and cell membrane to cholesterol esters which is finally taken up by HDL. See, we can see in this diagram that this is the free cholesterol present in the extrahepatic tissues. This is catalyzed by the LCAT enzyme, converted to cholesterol esters, which is taken up by the HDL molecule. Nascent HDL will take up the cholesterol esters and form active HDL molecule. Now, normally, cholesterol, as we know, is a derived lipid, thus insoluble in plasma. So, it is transported via plasma lipoproteins in two forms. One that is 75% as cholesterol esters where it is esterified with long chain fatty acids and 25 to 30% as free cholesterol which is present in extrahepatic tissues and cell membrane. Now, as the name suggests, reverse cholesterol transport. That means the cholesterol is being transported from the extrahepatic tissues back to the liver, where this cholesterol will be used in the synthesis of bile salts. Question arises as to how HDL, sorry, how LCAT, catalyzes the esterification of cholesterol. LCAT helps in the transfer of fatty acid from phosphatidylcholine to 3 dash hydroxyl group of cholesterol and thus esterifying it. Now, activity of LCAT 
is promoted by apoprotein A. Thus, ultimately, cholesterol esters taken up by HDL. This HDL is taken up by the liver by receptor mediated endocytosis and in liver it is degraded and finally excreted through kidneys and the cholesterol esters are degraded into bile salts which we have already discussed so this was the role of LCAT HDL molecule in the reverse cholesterol transport now under this diagram we will mention that this is the diagram of HDL metabolism we will also underline the role of LCAT and give headings because in our exams we should give headings this is the transport of cholesterol how LCAT characterizes the esterification of cholesterol and this is ultimately the reverse cholesterol transmitter.